Hello and welcome to another week of our um, contemplative worship recordings. Every now and again I like to introduce us, so I'll let you know that at Bay Ridge United Methodist you have Matt Schaefer, the pastor there. Uh, I am Betty Soam and I am at Bethel on Staten Island and Rafael Garcia is the pastor at Christ United Methodist, uh, also on Staten Island. So we welcome you to this service this night. If you have a candle or have time to get a candle nearby, you might want to light it. The light reminds us that Christ is with us, always and most especially when we worship. And so a lit candle is a good way to start, and we start with a song. to our psalm number 132 this evening <laughs> How he swore to the Lord and vowed to the mighty one of Jacob, I will not enter my house or get into my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. We heard of it in Ephrath. We found it in the fields of Jar. Let us go into his dwelling place. Let us worship at his footstool. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Rise up, O Lord, and go to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your faithful shout for joy. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away the face of your anointed one. The Lord swore to David a sure oath from which he will not turn back. 
one of the sons of your body I will set on your throne. If your sons keep my covenant and my decrees that I shall teach them, their sons also forevermore shall sit on your throne. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I will share a written by Francis McNabb in his book, A Fine Wind is Blowing. Um, in this piece of writing, he paraphrases Psalms 133 and 134. Uh, and he looks for a united and better humanity. As he puts down these words in these beautiful words. How different the world would be if people everywhere would live and worship together. Our human scene is constantly disrupted by discordant views and divisive behavior. People take up positions they firmly believe are right and lose respect for people who have taken up other positions. How different the world would be if people could live together and worship together. That would be like the magnificent transformation of the hills after a heavy downpour of rain. In such a dialogue of togetherness, the best humanity will emerge and we will see something of what life is really about. Everyone could lift their hands in prayer and celebration. Come, all of you searchers for this higher purpose. Come and find the blessing of the God, who is the source and substance of this hope for our world.
Let me invite you to move into deeper reflection in light of what we just heard, that beautiful song from Taize. from the Gospel of John, as we, if you notice, um, you, are being, you have been attending church. This is our last week for this uh, year in the biblical lectionary. And so we end with John guiding us uh, uh, through this uh, Sunday, which we call Christ the King. Pilate entered the headquarters again summoned Jesus and asked him again, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, do you ask this on your own or the others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, my kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were for, uh, from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, so are you a king? Jesus answered, you say, that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Let me invite you to enter into deeper meditation and let us try to discern that voice from the Holy One.
Let us turn to God in prayer. God, and there is uncertainty in many human hearts, even in our hearts today, and for some every day. There is aimlessness in the hearts of others, senseless excitements about the details of the end of time, about the signs that are around us for us to read and to understand. We often argue about the meaning of things with others instead of breathing in the strength of earth and sky and breathing out love and compassion upon our own selves and the self of the world around us, the world you have made. Great God, you know about fear, aimlessness, senseless excitements, and deep depressions of the soul. You understand the afflictions of the lonely, of those who have no one to draw close to. We pray especially today for these, O God, that they may know your presence and see your power and be consumed by your glory and so find that which we all need. Shine your light, we pray, upon those we name before you in our hearts now, be it ourselves, or the person next to us, or the one we left at home, perhaps one we heard about on TV, or the one who is our neighbor. Peace, O oh God, to them as we lift them up before you now. Hear our prayer.
prayer in the spirit of the Jesus seminar. Eternal spirit, source of all that is and ever shall be, loving power and in whom we discern heaven, may knowledge of your holiness inspire all peoples, and may your commonwealth of peace and freedom flourish on earth until all of humankind heed your call to justice and compassion. May we find the bread that we need for today and for the hurt we cause one another. May we be forgiven in the same measure that we forgive. In times of trial and temptation, help us to be strong. When life seems overwhelming, help us to endure. And thus, from the yoke of sin, deliver us. May you reign in the power of human love, now and forever. Amen. And as we conclude this special time that we separate every week for ourselves, for meditation, to contemplate, to listen to music, to sing, to pray, Let's hope that all this, in a way, bless us, open our minds, open our hearts, and our relationship with the Lord be strengthened as you go through this experience of contemplation. So in this spirit, let me share this blessing for the journey. May the God who see in all the colors of creation arousing you a sense of awe and wonder. May the God who is sacred presence be real to you. May the God who is a source of inspiration and courage keep calling you forward. May your God go with you and bless you. Amen. I give you trouble not your hearts my peace I leave you my peace I give you be not afraid my peace I leave you my peace I give you trouble not your hearts my peace I leave you, my peace I 
I give you Be not a friend My peace I leave you My peace I give you Trouble not your hearts My peace I 